Hello, my name is Susan Kiernan Lewis. I think it's been said that setting your mind to writing a memoir is like piecing together a large, unwieldy jigsaw puzzle. There is the conundrum of what to leave in, what to take out, how to start, when to stop, and then there are the emotional hurdles. It took me months to finish a 150-page simple slice of life memoir because it involved a three-year period in my childhood that included my father, who is now gone. And just the thought of visiting with him on a daily basis had me literally pushing away from the idea of starting and then finishing this book for years. But after the emotional barriers aside, there's the difficulty of structuring a narrative with the past that's literally composed of millions of memory fragments, and each one emotional and perfect in hindsight, and each one a singular impasse to the order you need to impose to create a cohesive narrative. So, having said that, the focus of this presentation is, one, to overcome the emotional hurdle of beginning a memoir, two, to overcome the avalanche of memory and events through material reducing techniques. Three, to recognize the form inherent in the material and to, and to help participants see the threads and weave them through smaller, seemingly inconsequential events or memories to form the larger story. And when it comes to telling one's life story, it really is all in the details. Fourth, to recognize the form inherent in the material and to see the potential of their life's work. The, the, the point of view and the setting needs to be established immediately, just like a piece of fiction. In fact, it may be even more important. This is your life. Finally, I would hope that conference participants would leave the workshop impassioned and excited about the thought of beginning this personal and satisfying project and also leave with the feeling of empowerment that they've got the tools to begin it and finish it.